هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on his tip, Necron, Thanaton, Thanaton, Batisas, Ketis, and Ethnimas, Isoif, Karisamenos. Messiah, I'm Christos on his It's time for Vita 22. And what this means is that there is only eight days left for Vita. And then it's all over and you'll have to accept that uh, will continue on vlogging every single day afterwards so and as it's April 22 it's April 22 uh, April 22nd and no yeah, it's April 22nd 2012 and it's time for common sex I almost forgot what day it was so <laughs> that was the pause there uh, sometimes as you're going along you kind of forget things and uh, you get to a point in what was I saying? What was I thinking about? Anyways, <laughs> anyway, uh, gonna uh, be working on some new stuff. Uh, I'm f gonna be working on some new uh, video techniques now, actually, uh, that I found I can do. Uh, I'm gonna try. This is the whole goal now. Is I'm gonna try to do uh, videoing using ambient lighting. And I did my first attempt at it using uh, ambient lighting, and it turned out okay. I'm getting better at at, at uh, increasing the brightness and and the contrast levels. Uh, the next thing I got to work on now is I've got to work on the color tones and how it appears afterwards. Apparently, I have to go into uh, uh, the chroma and luminescence in order and tweak those vari variables to get a better uh, under a better uh, quality of video inside uh, I when you're doing ambient lighting for uh, for 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 uh, videography that's the term Videoti videography because filmography it would be with a f with film but we're not doing film we're doing video so it'd be videography uh, and so it, this is uh, uh, I'm going to first work on getting the picture to be seen in normal lighting without any extra lights for camera for the camera and then bit by bit what you'll see is as I do these videos uh, I'll be uh, inc trying to work on the uh, the color to make sure that the color and the sharpness of the image, the quality of the image, uh, improves as well. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be a study. It's going to take me a while to get to really get through this. Uh, and I, but this is this is this is kind of what's cool about my with my job is I get to, to do this uh, on a daily basis. Is well, not really on a daily basis. I'm, I'm always learning something new every single day. So that's the fun part. Uh, the not so fun part is when uh, you have to come. You have to pay your bills, and you haven't done enough of the work, uh, and you're uh, you're no. You, you can be a little short on cash. I've I've got a, a good backup system so that if if I do uh, if I am short, I've got a uh, a reserve or emergency fund that I can dip into, and sort of that's how I uh, get through the lean months. And that's sort of I'm at the point right now. Uh, I'm. I'm at the most expensive time of my year. I'm finished pay paying off my electric bills, uh, and a lot of other pay payments are coming due at this particular point in time. So right now I'm at the lowest point in my funds, and I'm happy to having to dip into my reserves. So we'll see if next year. I'm going to try because I, I where we are now, where, where I am now financially, I'm going to try to change up my uh, my uh, my um, my economic uh, situation and change my budget up, and that way 
I'll be able to better adjust my, but if, if I can adjust my budget properly and anticipate where the costs are going to be, uh, even for emergencies, then uh, I'll be able to not dip into a reserve and keep the reserves building. Uh, but this is in contrast, the, the, the costs that I'm putting out are in contrast to a continual week by week and month to month growth. So every week, every uh, every month, I the I'm growing more. No, I've grown more than I did the previous month. So as in other words, uh, the progress in growth is continual. So it's not that uh, when I'm dipping into reserves that uh, the work is suffering here. It's uh, I've found ways around the economic issues. Uh, and I'm simply pressing forward, and there's the week-to-week -week improvements. And uh, you will you could see this now is that if you look this week on, on Big Bang Theory, well, the new thing for this week uh, that, that we pa just, uh, just passed is you'll see over the weekend that I've been able to put out more comments why, and you'll see more of the comments why popping up as I'm scrolling around YouTube. I've got my, uh, my system set up, and it's not one computer system, it's multiple computer systems, systems, so that when I'm watching one particular video and I see someone put, uh, put up a comment where, they, uh, where I either want to, want to comment or uh, they ask for a comment, either on Twitter or, how, or, or whatever, however they get that message out, I can come, produce a comment, and then go back to whatever I was doing. So there, there's no... Um, it doesn't take an, an, an enormous effort to do this. It do, the, the, the longest part to responding to comments is the processing that, 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 that uh, Yahoo does. And sometimes if it's, a, if, if it's over uh, five or ten minutes, uh, you, you can basically, you need to double your time. So if, if it's a ten minute video, you're looking at, at, at 20 minutes of processing time. If you've got a half hour video, you're looking at about an hour's worth of processing time. So it could take a while, depending on how much you've got to get, get out and how many comments you're getting out. It could take a while for all the comments to, to slowly start drifting out onto the internet. Uh, but if you look at my feed, and, and, or if you're a subscriber, you click on, because uh, you, 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 you're we're in the new um, YouTube format now. If you look on your home page, you'll see uh, a button up on the top there where you have the, the, the uh, suggestions of things to watch for. Rather than watching everybody's feed like that, what I do is I've clicked on uploads and so that all I'm seeing right now are what people upload. And so I can track that. I've also got my YouTube channel selector so if something doesn't pop up in the feed and I want to go see that channel, I can go to my YouTube channel selector uh, and go from there. Now, the YouTube channel selector is not available on YouTube yet. Uh, it's a a, uh, a program that I've developed uh, inside of another program. It's sort of like a plugin that I developed in another program uh, on my Linux desktop. And at some point in time, uh, I will uh, be entering uh, uh, the Google Code Code System, their their uh, their coder uh, club, if you want to call it that. And I probably sometime over the summer will be working on a way to get it out as either a um, Android app or something that you can you can sort of add into a browser like uh, like Firefox or Chrome. I'm going to look in to see uh, what you can do in terms of uh, a YouTube channel selector in terms of an add-on or a plugin. Um, that being said. Uh, I'm aiming to, again, uh, the news will start up again this week. Uh, we took a week off to improve some of, the, some of the stuff that's going on, improve some of the sources that I've got. I also want to improve the presentation uh, as well as uh, bring out... Uh, see, I don't want to... When I'm doing the news, I don't want to simply repeat the headlines. I want to go behind and do the analysis. And sometimes that takes a little bit more effort to do that, and uh, I found a way to sort of, uh, you have to, 
if you're trying to do a lot and trying to squeeze a lot into the day, efficiency matters because if you're not efficient, you can waste a lot of time doing nothing. But if you're more efficient, you can squeeze more stuff into a shorter period of time. And that's sort of what's going on here is I've got to squeeze, uh, uh, this is where I'm working out my scheduling, uh, to, to get all the information that I have put together properly and out in the proper format so that people can, uh, can see it. Uh, the issue that I'm still trying to work out is how to put out information that may be copywritten, but it's important to the news, but so it doesn't get censored. Because there are people out there with the flag down below on, 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 the, uh, on the YouTube channel thing, on the YouTube uh, down below bar, there's the flag thing. There are people out there who, when they don't see something they like, and they're upset about it, it they'll click on it and censor it. And unfortunately, YouTube has, un has a trigger here when something gets flagged, it can immediately be pulled off. And that's all you need. In order to ruin a story, in order to censor something, that's all you need to do. So it's, YouTube and, and Facebook have made it, uh, unfortunately, very easy to censor dissent, to censor uh, speech that may be considered to be, and, and in this case, I'm not talking about nasty language. I'm talking about political language, politically offensive language. Uh, if, if politically language, sensitive language is censored that easily, that means that uh, our rights to free speech are now gone. And they have to work to be coming back. And this is why you'll see at the end uh, uh, I've replaced the uh, Creative Commons license with uh, free speech rules here. Uh, that's my new, uh, uh, it, it, it replaces Creative Commons, it's a new license that I have. Uh, it's based on, it, it's, it's, it is free speech, and if you believe in free speech, put that, take, take, go and find that video. It's on my uh, YouTube channel. Find it, take it, and uh, use it on your own videos. Just, uh, you know, click on Creative Commons, let people take your videos, don't keep the standard YouTube license, which is copywritten and uh, 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 subject to censorship. Take that and start passing that around. If you, if everyone starts, who believes in free speech, if everyone starts putting free speech as their standard, then I don't think we'll have an issue in the future. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave that for now because you will be seeing me around YouTube. Uh, I will be posting more Y comments now that I've got the new system sort of... Not that it's not a new system, it's just I've fixed up my systems enough that I'm able to do this. And so more fixing up will occur today, more cleaning is going to occur today, and uh, so on and so forth. Anyways, we'll see you around. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.